What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic video. Today I'm going to be going through some more X-Force comics and I absolutely love that once again I get the opportunity to share my love of comic books with you guys and showcase what I have. If you guys remember a while back I did purchase over 2,000 comics to resell but some of it is staying in my collection. It's just a matter of going through it, seeing what really I want to keep and what I'm missing in my collection and kind of fill in the blanks but also to see if there's stuff that's I don't want to sell if I should hold on to it and see if the price goes up or see if I can fill in the blanks before I sell. So a lot of interesting stuff happening, but today is going to be some more X-Force comics that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Now, again, not all of these are going to be bagged and boarded. All of them are at least bagged, but I think for the most part of today's video, none of them are boarded. If they're ones that I end up going to be keeping for myself, I am going to board them and likely change the bag as well. But let's just get into sharing these comics with you guys. In the last video that I shared X-Force, we did issue 1 through 33, and I think there was only 6 missing in between um, before having a complete run. So today we're starting off with issue 34, which looks like an amazing battle scene. I absolutely love this. So again, these are going to be hard for me to sell, but that is why I purchased them. Uh, issue 35 here, I'm not sure who this is here. That's going to be interesting, and at least I'm going to be reading these comics before I sell them, so regardless, I am going to get my money's worth out of them and then make money on top of that. So, uh, issue 36, don't know what's happening here, that's definitely going to be interesting to check out. Very cool, I absolutely love the cover of X-Men and Spider-Man comics, that's usually what I collect, mostly 80s, uh, some 90s, 37. But, uh... Very interesting. 39, so we're missing 38. And that's so far the only one that I realized. There might have been another one that we missed, or I missed. Uh, from there we jump up uh, to issue 41. I believe that's correct, right? 39, and then we go to 41. A little change in the comics. I believe this is 90s style. I'm not 100% sure. There is no date. I'm going to guess this is when we're getting into the 90s for X-Force. I might be completely wrong, by the way, but I thought Marvel, whenever they did it up here like that, I thought that was whenever they're getting into the 90s. Uh, this is issue 42. And they're X-Men, uh, these are deluxe comics, so I'm not even sure if it's a continuation or anything. Uh, issue 43. This one actually doesn't say, uh, oh, if you didn't know, in the barcode, you can try to kind of figure out which issue it is. This is 44. It just doesn't say up here. It just says July. So that's interesting that they decided to go that route. Again, with August, same thing, but this is issue 45. You can tell in the barcode here. Issue 45. It's really cool. I absolutely love these comics. They did change up the uh, fonts, the design of the comics, going into more modern, but they still look amazing. This is issue 46. Looks really cool. The next one here I absolutely love. This is issue 47, and it has my guy Deadpool right on the front. That is amazing. I love that X Force, the name X Force just pops on this comic. Uh, we have issue number 48. Not 100% sure what is happening in this one here, but it does look pretty cool. I'm definitely going to have to give this a read. And on the back, that is amazing. It has. Um, Jay and Silent Bob on the back. Absolutely love Kevin Smith. I did get to keep some other stuff from Kevin Smith that I found in the slot. So maybe in the future, if you guys are interested, let me know. But I'll make a video on that. Issue 49. That looks amazing. I like that they changed it and the name X-Force just pops on each comics. Uh, issue 51. So we're missing, missing issue 50. Dang, that would suck. Uh, we have issue 40, sorry, 53. So we are missing a few here and there. Issue 53, uh, 52 is missing. Yeah, this is 90s. Issue 54, this is 96, the year I was born. This comic is over 25 years old. That is really cool. So I usually stay away from the 90s stuff unless it's of interest to me, like X-Force is, which is, you know, I might end up keeping these. Uh, this is issue 57. A lot more are missing here or there. 
issue 58. Really cool stuff. I am so glad that I bought these. 59. And we jump to December 96, issue 61. It's really cool. Uh, looks like the artwork's going more anime, which I am not into at all. And the artwork definitely has changed from the other ones to these ones. Artwork's really changed. 64. Characters look different. So I think these ones, the more modern ones, early, or sorry, mid 90s, I think that's gonna be the stuff that I'll likely end up selling. Some of the earlier ones, I might end up keeping because they are amazing and that's what I collect. This is issue 70. It's just I'm not into the uh, artwork really. I like the older stuff more for the artwork, if that makes sense. Uh, 71. Doesn't really do anything for me. 74. I do like that. That does look cool. And on the back, Men in Black, which I absolutely love. That's really cool. Issue 75. Didn't even know this was in here. Uh, Bash featuring more mutants, more pages, more trouble. That's really cool. And it's a thicker comic too, so 75, gonna have to give that a read. Let me jump up to 81, really changed the font of this one. But the next one isn't as bad. Next one they went back, this is 84. Still amazing. And the last comic that I'm going to be sharing today that is X-Force related is X-Force issue 90. That is really cool. But honestly, I must say, I like some of the earlier ones better from, you know, issue 1. I absolutely love that. Some of the later ones, like this one here, I do like the font has changed. I do like the story progression, but... The artwork really doesn't do as much for me as some of the earlier ones did. So so this, for me, my decision on whether or not I'm going to keep the X-Force or not. Some of the earlier ones, yes, I'm likely going to keep them and try to fill in the blanks and have a complete run. But some of the later ones, the mid to late 90 ones, aren't really of interest to me. I don't really care for the artwork so much. I might read them and get the story and try to enjoy them that way before I sell them. But ultimately, I think the older ones like the 90s, I think I'm just gonna honestly sell them. It doesn't do as much for me as some of the earlier ones. So I think that's ultimately what I'm gonna do, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing with you all of the comics that I purchased in the 2000 comic lots. Today was the last of the X-Force. Now I do have X-Men, I do have Spider-Man, I do have a lot of other stuff, and I'm gonna be uploading them sporadically until I have them no more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you would like to see next, whether you'd like to see Spider-Man or X-Men or some of my other stuff or some of my more expensive comics that were in the lots. I'll leave this video here, please take care, peace.